Recording in progress. This is the service for Stacy Lynette Reeves. Stacy was a beloved daughter, sister, niece, cousin, and friend. She was called home on Sunday, September 24th, 2023, after a short battle with triple negative breast cancer. Stacy was a quiet, kind, generous, loving young woman who loved to travel and attend comic cons and events for collectors of the dolls that she so loved to collect. She enjoyed going to cosplay events and dressing as her favorite characters. When she was little, she loved cats and popcorn and the Little Mermaid movie. She loved to dance around singing songs from that movie. Stacy was a well-behaved and courteous child who always made her family proud with the awards that she often won in school. She was incredibly bright and gifted, telling her first grade teacher when asked what the class wanted to be when they grew up, a paleontologist. Her teacher reiterated this story and was blown away by how smart Stacy was. Stacy was a hard worker and was employed by Vaughn's grocery stores for 17 years. Working her way up from store demonstrator to a full-time employment in the deli. Her co-workers remember her as the best co-worker. Stacy often thought more of others than herself. When asked if she wanted a ride home by a co-worker, she would respond, that's okay. I'm fine. Thank you. It was just her way. Stacy loved her family and remained living at home with her disabled father to help keep her family afloat. She was selfless when it came to her family. Stacy is survived by her parents, Barry Reeves of Long Beach, California, and Pamela Barbour of Los Molinas, California. Siblings, Jason Reeves, Christina Reeves, and Devon Reeves. Stepbrother, Adrian Steffert, and his wife, Laura. Many aunts, uncles, and cousins who are left heartbroken at her loss. It's hard for us when we lose someone that we love. We grieve deeply, and it's during times like these that we tend to question God and ask, why? Well, Romans 8, 28 tells us, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. This is a key scripture that helps me when I see God's children suffering. When my family and friends and I go through tribulations, I can accept it because I know that all things work together for good doesn't mean that all things are easy or if you're a believer you won't suffer it just means that our suffering can be used for good it can help us to be a good witness in situations when we've been there or we are there we all need to remember that tomorrow is never promised to us and we're only here on earth for a very very short time james chapter 4 verse 14 tells us yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring what is your life for you are a mist that appears for a very little time and then vanishes. In John chapter 11, verse 25 through 26, Jesus was speaking with his friend Martha here, but this applies to everyone. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? I do, and I pray that Stacy did too. Oftentimes, when people suffer a painful illness, they will find their faith through it. And I know when Stacy was suffering, her family was praying for her. I was praying for her, and I am hopeful that she opened her heart to God's love and accepted his free and beautiful gift of salvation and eternal life. Jesus said in John chapter 3, verses 16 through 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I'm going to close with one of the most comforting chapters in the Bible, a Psalm of David, a man who loved God with all his heart, and all his soul, and he sought strength and comfort her from him. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm going to close with a prayer. Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, we love you so much, and we're just so grateful for all your blessings. We're grateful for Stacy and for the kindness that she showed to others while she was here, Lord. And we just pray that she's with you. I pray for your comfort for all of her family, Lord. Just be with them and let them feel your presence through this tremendous loss. It's in Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen.